and welcome to my beautiful Halloween and happy Halloween. For the finale of my series, I've created this vintage clown makeup look for you. This clown is everything vintage with the classic Harlequin clown designs. I wanted to create a dark, smoky, burgundy eye look with, of course, lots of glitters and rhinestones. Basically, this clown look takes us all the way back to Hallow's Eve in the 1920s. Now, if you guys are ready, let's get into this vintage clown makeup. I'm going to start out this look by priming my skin with a hydrating primer. I'm now going to be gluing my brows back and setting them with a translucent powder. Now to conceal them, you're going to want to use a full coverage concealer. For this look, I'm going to be airbrushing my foundation on using a shade that is lighter than my skin tone. To add more brightness and coverage, I'm applying a white concealer under my eyes. Set all of those creams in using a loose powder. I'm gonna let the powder bake for a few minutes and then dust away. Here I'm starting to contour the face, focusing on the hollow areas of my cheeks, temples, and jawline. I'm dipping into a much darker shade of contouring powder and deepening up that contour. Picking up a burnt red eyeshadow, I'm gonna start blending into my crease, fading that color over the brow area. With a brighter red eyeshadow, I'm going to blend over the brow area and smoke out that lower lash line. Now I'm going to be adding a deep burgundy eyeshadow into the crease. Apply a foiled pink shadow over the brows and onto the forehead. I blend it out using a damp sponge. I'm applying a creamy and shimmery burgundy shadow onto the lid and blending out with my fingertips then applying a creamy gold shadow into the inner corners. I'm filling in my waterline with a black eyeliner and smoking out the look using a matte black eyeshadow. With the black brow pomade, I'm gonna create a vintage brow look. I did go back in with a black liquid eyeliner just to darken up the brows a lot more. And here I'm just highlighting underneath the brows with a white cream foundation. I'm first applying some glitter adhesive and then topping off the lids with a burgundy glitter. I did go in with a big brush afterwards for a messier glitter application. Using the foiled pink shadow we used earlier, I'm gonna add some more color to the cheeks. Then amping up the inner corners with a metallic gold shadow. With gold body paint, I'm gonna create some lines around the eyes and add rhinestones for some more shine. In all of those gold areas, I'm gonna apply gold glitter over top, and I'm adding a black liquid liner to the line above my eye. Now apply mascara and lashes. With black shadow, I'm gonna create a triangular tear shape under my right eye, and I'm just smudging that out for a grungy look. And here I'm just popping on some bottom lashes. To conceal the lash band, I applied some black eyeliner to the waterline. Now I'm popping on some more rhinestones around the eyes and I used pearl shades, black, and silver stones. To add some more grunginess to the look, I'm applying a black shadow to the contour areas of the face. Dipping into an icy white highlight, I'm gonna add some glow to the skin. I'm spritzing my face with a dewy mist and tapping in some gold glitter over top. Here I'm filling in my lips with a dark red liquid lipstick. With a creamy gold shadow, I'm going to highlight the center of the lips, just tapping in with my fingertip. Then deepening up the outer corners of the lips with a black eyeshadow. Here you can see me applying a gold clown nose, but I'm going to be changing the color later. This wouldn't be a tutorial of mine if I didn't switch it up a little bit at the end. I also dragged out the corners of the mouth for more of a clown lip look. Now lock all of that makeup in using a long-lasting setting spray. For the wig, I popped on a black wig with some clip-on pom-poms and I just fluffed those out nice and big. Here I'm adding the finishing touches, some more black shadow, and I'm also changing my clown nose to match my lip color. I topped off the nose with some burgundy glitter. Here I'm applying a few craft flowers into the hair, 
and popping on a black ruff around my neck. I'm picking up a gray shadow and just smudging out the neck area so it's cohesive with the face. I'm also going to be applying some black glitter into the Harlequin Triangle under the eye, and then applying a holographic silver glitter over top for extra shine. As a final step, I'm airbrushing my fingertips black and adding that holographic glitter over top. And this glitter looks amazing at nighttime. It shines so beautifully.